Let's solve the lead code problem 1502 can make arithmetic progression. The question goes like this. A sequence of numbers is called an arithmetic progression if the difference between any two consecutive elements is the same. So what they're saying is an arithmetic progression is where uh, you arrange a num list of numbers in such a way that the difference between two adjacent numbers is same for all, right? So for uh, like in this example, right, if three, five, one, if I arrange it in sorted manner in ascending or descending, what happens is the difference between first and second element is two. And the difference between second and third is again two. So this is an arithmetic progression because the difference between two numbers is same, which is two. While in the second example, this is not arithmetic progression because when I sort it, the difference between first and second element is one but second and third element is two so it's not the same so the question says that given an array numbers arr written true if the array can be rearranged to form an arithmetic progression otherwise written false so we need to rearrange it from the question itself we understand that if we simply sort it and then check if all the edges in numbers have the same gap as the first two then it is true it is an arithmetic progression otherwise false so that is one way of doing it I could simply sort it and check but that would make the answer or uh, a time give a time complexity of n log n sorting takes n log n time complexity so my answer would be of time complexity n log n to reduce that, what I can do is I can increase the space complexity by n and I can then reduce the time complexity to n. So uh, let's discuss that solution. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the minimum. Okay. So in this, what I have to is minimum is one. I'll take the maximum, which is five. Right. And I'll, how will I find the gap is? I'll take the maximum, subtract the minimum, that will give me the difference between first element and the last element. Then I'll divide it by the length of the element, length of the array minus one, which means how many gaps are there. Okay, length of the array minus one give, will give me how many gaps are there. So the difference between the largest and the smallest divided by the number of gaps there are gives me the gap that should be between two edges in numbers okay and then i'll simply check if that's the case if every two numbers have the same gap let's go in code and solve it so i'm calculating the minimum of the array this is order of n then i'm calculating the gap which is the difference between the maximum and the minimum divide the number of gaps there are in that array which is length of array minus one and then I'm initializing an empty uh, a set and putting array into it so every unique numbers will be added to s okay and so if the gap that I calculated is zero which means if the gap I've calculated is zero means every element in that array is the same. Say the every element in that array is five and there are the arrays of length 10. And if I calculate that the gap is zero, that is, which means that there should, all the 10 numbers should be five, right? And all the 10 numbers are five means in the set, it will essentially, the length of the set will be only one. There will be only one element in the set, which is five. So I'll check if the gap is zero, not gap means if the gap is zero, then return true if the length of the set is one, else return false. If the gap is zero, then length of the set should be one. And that's that gives me a valid arithmetic progression array. Otherwise, it is false. It cannot be a valid arithmetic progression. 
this the, that is one edge case you can say or quick check and then i'll go on to check for other gaps if the gap is not zero if the gap is not zero i'll simply go through the set okay in such a manner that uh, i'll create a range of the minimum number plus gap okay this give me the second number in that array what should be there in that array okay minimum is the first element what should be in that array if i had sorted it and minimum plus gap gives me the second number in that array that should have been if i sort it i'll start from that this range i'll go up to minimum plus gap multiplied by length of array okay so this will give me the last number that should have been in that array plus one one gap more than the last number okay because if i put in the last number it will not consider the last number so i have uh, taken one more than the last number which gives me uh, which allows me to go till the last number using this range function and then the third variable in the range is the hopping how many by how much number do you want to hop so i want to hop by gap number okay so this will give me i which is which should have been the number okay should have been the number at each place and i'll just check if this number is there in the set if, if all these numbers are there in the set then it's an arithmetic progression otherwise it is not so i'll check if i is in s is not in s then return false if even one number is not in s means that it's not an arithmetic progression otherwise if the loop completes without any problem i'll return true let's run and see let's submit took 16 milliseconds better than 92% of all users let's look at the best solution the best solution is using sorting but this will the time complexity would be high for this let's look at some other solutions yeah this one is using something similar to what we are doing they are also calculating max and minimum and if it is zero then uh, if it and they are creating a set and checking it so this is similar to what we are doing so that's how you solve the problem uh, to check whether it is an arithmetic progression okay that's how 1502 can can make arithmetic progression from sequence can be solved see you in the next video